guys, what's going on? It's your girl, Godly. Let me ask you this. Do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in miracles? Do you believe in good versus evil? The reason I ask this is because I'm not one to preach religion, but let me just say this. You can't believe in one without believing in the other. It's pretty simple. The reason I'm telling you this is because, you know, over the course of the last year, especially the last couple of weeks, I've had my life just filled with so much stress drama that it's just it's crazy and in all actuality in the in the grand scheme of things like it's just petty stuff I called my mom on Monday and I've just been really stressed out and I asked my mom like hey let's go shopping let's have a girl's day and of course my mom she is just always raring to go she's always down to shop she seriously can shop till you drop she's one of those women and for us ladies we love to shop that's one of the greatest stress relievers ever for me and so i picked her up you know we went out of town did some shopping you know had lunch had some drinks it was just a really great day it was something that i just truly needed i needed some girl time i needed some mama time and i don't care how old you are you always want your mama <laughs> so i just needed that time so we spent probably close to six hours just out and about and it's crazy how a, a new pair of shoes or a new outfit a new phone can just make you feel just i don't know i just feel so much better so but my mom's the type that she can go shopping from you know sun up to sundown and not spend one penny like seriously she is just a window shopper she could spend all day just looking and i'm not that type like if i don't have money i just i won't even go you know, seriously. So anyways, we were gone about five or six hours, shopped, you know, had lunch, had some drinks and was heading home. And I dropped her off at her house. She had rode with me. I dropped her off at her house and she gets on the porch and, you know, she motions for me for just a minute. Well, I kept hearing like this beeping noise and I was like, what the hell is that? You know, I thought, oh God, my truck's about to blow up. It's a bomb. You know, <laughs> like what the hell? Anyways, um, she motions for me, you know, to hold on just a second. And anyways, she unlocked the door and opened the door and smoke just starts rolling out of her house. And I'm like, oh my God. And there were so many things that just went through my mind. You know how they say, you know, your life flashes before your eyes? Well, it was kind of one of those, you know, moments where I was just visualizing and thinking about all these memories. And it was just ridiculous. So um, I ran up there, of course, and I was like, well, maybe it's, you know, something that we can get to. Maybe we can just, you know, I don't know, you know, with the adrenaline pumping, I'm like, what can we do? What can we do? Of course, I called 911 and, you know, I'm like, mom, get your stuff out. And she's like, we couldn't even get it through. You know, we couldn't even get through the front door anyway. So the smoke alarm was going off. I called 911 and it's crazy because we're like, how the hell did this happen? You know, we've been gone all day. My mom, you know, assured me that she had cut everything off. And I'm like, okay, you know, what is this? Like, what's happening? So the firemen come and, you know, they kick in the back door. And, you know, of course, that's their job to do. But they, you know, in times like this, they have no respect pretty much for your stuff. Which, that's the way it's supposed to be, you know, I think. But it's still, it was just like, oh my God, my house is burning and you're kicking in the door. Like, what the hell? And this home has been in my family for close to 50 years. My grandma lived in that house um, for about 45, about 45 years. And then my grandma passed away um, about four years ago. And then when she passed away, she, uh, my mom inherited the home. And then when my mom passes, I inherited the home, you know, stuff like that. So, um, but there was just so many memories and just thoughts going through my head. And it's like, really? Like, oh my gosh. So, Anyway, the firemen come and they end up locating the cause of it. And my mom's oven had automatically kicked on. And it's like, okay, which that's kind of creepy in and of itself. But the creepier thing is, is that this oven hasn't worked. It hasn't worked in years. This oven belonged to my grandma. And that was my grandma. Like I said, my grandma passed about four years ago. My mom, through the course of the last three to four years, she's been remodeling it, you know, slowly but surely. My mom is on a fixed income. So just little by little, she's been, you know, remodeling it. And, you know, when we have help, you know, when she has helps or, you know, help or whatever, we go over there and help her, this, that, and the other. So essentially this oven hasn't worked in years. It didn't work when my grandma had it. And now my mom has been there for close to three months now and it hasn't worked. And for it to automatically kick on, it's like, 
okay, is this, what is this? Is this my grandma? Like, what the hell? You know, why would my grandma do something like that kind of thing? Like, what other reasoning could this be? My grandma was feisty. She was just like a version of me, but 80 years older. She was seriously just a smart ass. God rest your soul, nanny, but we all know you were a smart ass. She was just vindictive, and she was crazy. I mean, she was just, and I don't mean crazy like cuckoo. She was just so much fun to be around. And so it's just crazy that, you know, maybe that's what happened. You know what I mean? You never know. And and so it's nuts because she died almost short of her. Well, she was short just of her 105th birthday. So it's crazy that, you know, she lived up in this home up until the point that she died. And, you know, the oven didn't work then. It hasn't worked for the last four or five years. And here it is just automatically kicking on. It's like, what the hell? So, anyways, when the firemen came, you know, they identified the cause, what have you. And then, um, I guess whenever you have a fire, they automatically cut off the electricity to the home. And they automatically cut off the gas to the home. And so, that's what they did. So, anyways... um, Whenever, you know, everything was said, done, and over, you know, found out it wasn't anything. Thank God my mom had absolutely no damage. I don't know how long this had been going on. I mean, we were gone, you know, close to six hours that day. So, who knows when it started. But, um, whenever they came and whenever the gas company came, they wouldn't turn on the gas again because my mom had a horrible gas leak. So, it's just crazy to think that, you know, it could have been so much more worse. You know, and then I think about, you know, just how stressed I've been. And you know what? In the grand scheme of things, like, it doesn't even matter. My life is nothing. There's nothing but petty crap. You know, at the end of the day, I'm good. You know what I mean? I have my health. I have everything. You know, I have the stuff that I need. Of course, I don't have the stuff that I want. But you know what I mean? I'm good. My mom's safe. Her house is safe. This home, you know, this priceless thing that has been in our family for, you know, 50 years, and it may not even be worth anything, but to us, there's so many memories and stuff, so it's just crazy, like, you know, was it my grandma, or was it just something that happened, you know, um, the firemen were like, we don't know what kept this home from blowing up, and of course, you know, the, the gas leak had nothing to do with the fire, but it was like, how long had the gas leak been there, and it was fine, you know, a couple months back when my mom had it inspected and stuff, and when they came out and turned the gas on, there was no issues then, but anyways, it's a couple days later, and they're still not turning on, because they thought they had the problem fixed, but it's not, and it's like a full-blown gas leak, and they will not turn it back on, but it just kind of begs the question, like, what kept this house from blowing up, you know, was that my grandma's way of, you know, helping out, Or was it just something that's, you know, just a coincidence? And so I guess that's pretty much my question to you guys. Do you think it was a miracle? Do you believe in coincidences? Or you think it's just, you know, things just happen for a reason. There's absolutely no explaining, you know. So that's what I got for you guys. Till next time, peace out.